Alright, hi everyone. So, one thing that I've done for a bit that I think people could really gain a lot from is how to make your own quote-unquote overlays for Bedwars, like texture overlays. And why you would do that is, let's say something like this, right? Like, look at this world. It's a really good world. But let's say that I like everything else about this texture pack, like the swords, the cobblestone, whatever. But I want to change the world. I've gotten bored of this. I want to change it to something like, let's say... Uh, Kilua 16, right? If I want to change it into something like Kilua 16, how do I go about that while still keeping everything else in the pack? So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own Bedwars overlays that you can essentially mix and match textures as you wish. Also remember, this is my own personal method of doing that. Uh, there's probably a lot of better methods, but this is what's worked for me whenever I want to do it. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is click on your search and click run. Get the run app and type in this thing, percent app data percent with A and D being capitalized and press OK. After that, you're going to look for your Minecraft folder, your dot .minecraft folder. Double click that and search until you find the resource packs. Click this and you'll be given a list of every one of your resource packs in your folder right now. Alright, so from here, you're gonna click on your Killua, um, was that resource pack, since this is the one that you wanna create into a overlay. Go ahead and copy that and paste it again so that you can duplicate it. And you can go ahead and rename this thing to something like, I don't know, let's just call it like, Killua Overlay, right? Double click this, and since we're going for a wool overlay, you're gonna remove everything except for the wool. Leave all these things here, click on Assets, click on Minecraft, click on Textures. You can get rid of the font, MC Patcher and all that stuff, that's fine. But what you're gonna get rid of is everything but the blocks first. So just go ahead, delete all the things, and just wait for it to delete. Then now, go to your blocks, and since we only want the wool, the wool is right at the bottom here, you see? These are all the different wool colors. So what you do is just go to wheat, go up here, shift click, and delete all of this as well. Alright, so once you're done editing it, it should look like this. There should just be all your wools here and like you can go into like your MC patcher and get rid of like the sky for example because like uh, this sky is the sky overlay and things like that like you might not want this in your thing because like you might like the sky in your current pack so you can get rid of that you can get rid of like the fonts if you like a different font so that now remember this is my way of what I'm making these overlays but yeah once you have just this uh, text file here you can go ahead and launch up Minecraft and use it. I'm using the Azul pack now by Luvanox. And here's the sky, you can see the th this was probably not the best choice of housing, huh? Alright, well, it's actually alright. You can see that the rest of the place, the wood, the clay and all, this is the normal Azul pack. You can see the stained glass, stuff like this. But now, if we go into our options, we now have the uh, Kilua overlay here. So what you're gonna do is just put it here and make sure that it is over the pack. Like it could be set up like this, it won't work this way. The pack on top takes priority over the pack on uh, the bottom. So just think of it as, since it's called an overlay, just keep it on top. So click done. All right, so now with the Kilua overlay, you can see that the wool is now the Kilua wool, but the sky is still the Azul sky. Let's go into the Bedwars lobby. You can see that the sky is all the azul sky except for the wool being that and if I were to go ahead and take this away You see that everything looks the same other than the wool And then if I were to add it back Whoops Don't add the whole part Everything's the same, wool is changed Another thing that I should add is This is obviously not the only way that you can like add these things in you can just copy and paste the textures in as long as they have the same name they will work now this thing also works with other packs so let's say like i were to choose something like um let's go with 
blueberry, right? And I will put it on top like that. This is your normal blueberry pack. The sky is blueberry, the textures here are all the normal blueberry pack. However, the wool is still the Kilua wool because it's like that. And you can do this with every texture like beds or whatever. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I hope this thing helped you somewhat. If it works for you, let me know. If it doesn't, also let me know so that I can like try help if anything's wrong. And I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.